This millionaire trader revealed the exact trading strategy that he used to go from $9,100 in 2013 to $1.4 million in 2018, the year after that in 2019 his account size was at $4 million, and in 2021 his account size had increased to $82 million. In this video, we will reveal the exact strategy and risk management that was used by this trader. Please leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel to help us create these free videos. Now that we have gotten that out of the way, let's start. The trader that revealed his strategy and was able to go from $9,100 to $84 million is Christian Kulamagi, a self-funded and independent trader. Christian started in 2011 as a day trader. Like most new traders, he blew up his account four times during the first two years of trading. However, he would soon find a simple strategy that allowed him to make millions by trading. Something that can sometimes be more important than the strategy is the risk management you use when trading. So let's first take a look at what Christian's position sizing and risk management strategy is. Christian says that you should never have more than 30% of a position held overnight. From this, we can safely assume that most of his positions are between 10 and 20% of the size of his account. Now that we know what his position size is, let's take a look at the risk that he takes per trade. Christian says that his risk per position ranges from 0.25% to 1%. This means that if we assume an account size of $100,000, the average size of his positions will be between $10,000 and $20,000. This means that the amount of risk that he takes per trade would be between $250 and $1,000. However, Christian has stated that his risk management strategy was a bit different when he had an account size of less than a few million. When his account size was less than a few million, he had a higher risk between 0.5% and 1.5%. Christian has also said that in the very beginning he risked even more than that but that was because he didn't have a good grasp of the concept of risk management and position sizing. This means that the amount of risk you would be taking with an account size of $100,000 would be between $500 and $1,500. Now that we know exactly what his risk management and position sizing strategy is, let's take a look at the trading strategy that he has used to make a fortune. Christian uses a strategy that involves trading breakouts. This means that he looks for big breaks in the market when trading, an example of this would be a big spike or a big crash in the price that breaks a previous formation in the chart. Christian has said the following about his strategy, if you study thousands of the biggest winning stocks over the past 100 years they tend to move in stir steps. Meaning that they will make a 20-50% to 50 move, pull back and go sideways for a while, then make another move. This is how most leading stocks act. So how can we find these setups? First, there needs to be a big move to the upside between the last one to three months. This move will at least need to be 30% or more. In fact, Christian says that he usually looks for moves that are anywhere from 30 to 100% or more. After the big move, there will need to be a pullback. This pullback will need to be followed by a consolidation phase with higher lows and a tightening range. This phase of a sideways market will usually last between two weeks and two months. During this period, the price of the asset will bounce on and off the rising 10 and 20 day moving average, sometimes touching the 50 day moving average. Christian says that it will look like the price is surfing the 10 and 20 day moving averages. The last step to making sure that the setup is valid is to see a breakout out of the consolidation phase. Now let's take a look at how Christian goes about entering the trade. Christian will enter into the trade when the price breaks out of the consolidation phase. To find the exact point of entry you can look at the opening range highs of the 1 minute, 5 minute, or 1 hour candle. Based on this, we will enter into the position. The stop loss will be placed at the low of the daily candle. To make sure that the stop loss isn't too large, we will also have to consider the range of the consolidation period. For example, if the average true range of the asset is 4.5%, then the stop loss cannot be greater than 4.5%. Now that we know how to enter into the trade, let's take a look at the exit strategy that is used. Christian advises to sell one-third to half of the position after three to five days and then move the stop loss to break even. After doing so, a trailing stop loss equal to the value of the 10 or 20 day moving average can be applied to the rest of the position. 
Whether you use the 10 or 20 day moving average depends on how volatile the stock is, but Christian advises beginner traders to stick to waiting for the first close below the 10 day moving average before exiting the position. Now let's head over to TradingView and showcase entries that can be made with the strategy. Christian mainly uses four indicators, three of which are moving average indicators, and the last one is the volume indicator. We will show you how to get all of these indicators even on a free TradingView plan. First, click on the Indicator Search tab and search for the 10 in 1 Moving Averages Indicator. Select the indicator made by Himanshu and add it to the chart. The other indicator that we will be adding is the Volume Indicator. Search for the Volume Indicator. Select the indicator made by TradingView and add it to the chart. Now let's change the indicator settings. First head over to the 10 in 1 Moving Averages Indicator Settings and click on the Inputs tab, we will be adding 3 Moving Averages to the chart. The first one we will be adding is the 10 Period Moving Average. The second one that we will be adding is the 20 Period Moving Average and lastly, we will add the 50 Period Moving Average. Make sure to change all of the Moving Average types to the Simple Moving Average. Now let's change the color of the Moving Averages to make them easier to see. That was all that we needed to do. Now let's take a look at an entry that can be made with the strategy. But before that, if you are looking for a secure and reliable broker that has been operating since 2007 and has raw spreads from zero pips, extremely low fees, no hidden markups, and free deposits and withdrawals, then check out AAFX the best broker to trade forex, indices, commodities, stocks, and cryptocurrencies. They have many deposit methods such as crypto, credit card, and many others. Sign up via the link in the description of the video and get access to all of the previously mentioned features. Here we can see the ticker MNKD on the daily time frame. So let's go over the conditions that were previously mentioned. First, we will need to see a large move to the upside lasting between 1 to 3 months where the price of the asset will need to change between 30 and 100% or more. In this case, we see a move lasting around 66 days, and the price increased by about 90%. After the big move, there will be a pullback, followed by a consolidation phase. As you can see the pullback occurs here. The consolidation phase will usually last between 2 weeks and 2 months. In this case, the phase lasted about 28 days. During this consolidation phase, we see the price surfing on the 10 and 20 period moving averages. As you can see this occurs here. Finally, we need to see a breakout out of the consolidation phase. Now that the setup has been confirmed let's enter into the position. Unlike many other traders, Christian likes to enter during the breakout instead of waiting for the close of the candle. The price broke out here so let's enter into the buy position here. We will place the stop loss at the low of the candlestick. Christian advises selling one-third or half of the position after three to five days. Since the breakout happened on a Friday, we will sell one-third after five days since there is a two-day weekend in between. So we will sell one-third of the position here. To make sure the trade stays profitable, we will first move our static stop loss to break even. After that, we will be using the 10 or 20-day moving average as a trailing stop loss. Since we see that the price has previously respected the 10-day moving average, we will choose to use the 10-day moving average as the trailing stop loss. As you can see here price has closed below the 10-day moving average so we will sell the rest of our position here. This means that we sold one-third of the position with around 23% profit and two-thirds of the position with around 80% profit. We are now looking at the price of Axon on the daily time frame. Firstly, we see an increase of nearly 300%, which means that the first condition has been met. After this big move, we will be looking for a pullback, followed by a consolidation phase. Here we see this happening. The consolidation lasts for about 23 days, which fits perfectly between the 2 weeks to 2 month target. During this phase, we also see that the price surfs on the rising 10 and 20 day moving averages. Lastly, we will need to see a breakout. We enter into the position as soon as the price breaks above the consolidation phase. In this case, that's here. Once this happens, we will be putting the stop loss at the low of the daily candlestick. 
Just like with the previous trade we see that the breakout happened on a Friday so we will choose to stay in the position for 5 days before selling one third of the position size. When we look back, we can see that the price respects the 20-day moving average more than the 10-day moving average so after selling one third of the position we will move the stop loss to break even. After that we will use the 20-day moving average as the trailing stop loss. Here we see that the candlestick has closed below the 20-day moving average, so we will sell the other two-thirds of the position. On the first take profit we made around 30% selling one-third of the position, and on the second take profit we made around 74% selling the other two-thirds of the position. Overall, I think this is a great strategy since it has such a good risk-to-reward ratio. The risk to reward ratio is sometimes as high as 15 making it so that even if the strategy has a very low win rate you would still make a lot of profit. Please subscribe to the channel and leave a like on the video to help us keep creating these free videos. If you have any questions feel free to leave a comment.